Good evening. This is the devotion for Wednesday, November the 25th, Thanksgiving Eve. And the text is drawn from the Gospel reading from Luke chapter 17. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus tra traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into the village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Now one of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found in return to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. Sometimes things don't really change, do they? These men, ten of them, had a, a disease that made them have to be socially distant. They had to stay away from Jesus and, in fact, everyone. Leprosy was an infectious disease, and everyone had to stay away. And the rules for it were strikingly uh, uh, reminiscent of things that we have today. It's in Leviticus chapter 13. The person with such an infectious disease must wear torn clothes, let his hair be unkempt, cover the lower part of his face, and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as he's the unclean, he remains unclean. He must live alone. He must live outside the camp. So they were to be quarantined. They were to cover the lower part of their face. Looks like a mask, doesn't it? They are to uh, have their hair unkempt uh, to show that they were uh, not uh, ready for company, as it were, and wear torn clothing. And because of that, they had very little contact with people. No one could touch them. No one could come near to them. And so one day they heard that Jesus was coming by. Maybe they had heard that Jesus before on another occasion had actually touched a leper, Maybe they hadn't. But they knew enough to say, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Now, some, some translations say, have pity on us. And pity would just be uh, being sorry that something's gone wrong. Mercy is not only being sorry that something went wrong, but also wanting to do something about it. Don't just be sorry about it. Do something about it. And Jesus does. He heals them. He says, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they go, they are cleansed. Now, nine of them got to their homes, I'm sure, and after seeing the priests and had great thanksgiving to God that they were healed. Nine of them were thanks had great thanksgiving when they got to go to see their synagogue or go to the temple to offer the sacrifices. But one of them, well, he couldn't do that. He was a Samaritan. He couldn't go to the synagogue. He couldn't go to um, the temple. Those weren't his places. So where does he go? He goes back to Jesus. He falls at his feet. And he glorifies God and he thanks him. And Jesus doesn't brush him off. Jesus allows him to kind of cling down there on his feet. Even when he asks where the other nine are, he doesn't throw this one off. Instead, he turns to him and he says, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. Nine of them got healed. One of them got saved. It's that simple. Nine of them their skin was cleared up and they were restored to their families and I'm sure they were thankful for that. One of them was not only thankful to God but also received from God a special blessing. He was saved. His faith had made him well. The Bible teaches over and over again the just shall be justified by faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. The Samaritan had that. And he could go away, not to the temple or the synagogue, 
but he could go away praising God, not only for his skin, but for his entire life being delivered. I have lots of reasons to give thanks this year. It's been a hard year for most of us. Things are different. I've been struggling sometimes to figure out how to do things. But we can give thanks. Thanks for our families. Thanks for our congregation. Thanks for our good Lord who continues to watch over and protect us. And we should give thanks. For he who bore our iniquities, he who was stricken, smitten, and afflicted for us, doesn't brush us away. Instead says, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. And he would say to us, as part of your thanksgiving, don't just have pity on others, but understand, like myself, I want to have mercy. This year, as part of our thanksgiving, we're giving away these, these cards. They're from uh, Walmart, $25 each. There's no real restrictions on them as to who you give it to or or why you give it to them. We're not keeping any records. Just pick one up and give it to them. There are some actual restrictions on what it can be used for, and they're right on here. You can't use it for alcohol, tobacco, firearms, or the lottery. We don't want to support those. But for anything else that that person wants to get, they can get them. This is part of showing mercy and not just pity. So at the worship services, a drive through and over the next few days, if you have opportunity, uh, pick one of these up. We're going to keep them locked up, so you have to get it from myself or from one, one of the elders at the services uh, because they are already activated. But please consider doing this and consider who you would give this to. And as you give it to them, let them know that this is from our congregation. This is from our Lord who doesn't just have pity, but has mercy. And then it's our act of thanksgiving. For early in the year, I would have thought we were going to have great financial challenges with COVID. And we really haven't. The Lord's blessed us. So let's be a blessing to others. Another way we can give thanks, of course, is with our music. Oh, that I had a thousand voices to praise my God with thousand tongues. My heart, which in the Lord rejoices, would then proclaim in grateful songs to all wherever I might be, what great things God has done for me. Hymn 811. All creatures that have breath and motion, that throng the earth, the sea, the sky, come share with me my heart's devotion. Help me to sing God's praises high. My utmost powers can never quite declare the wonders of his might. Creator, humbly I implore you to listen to my earthly song until that day when I adore you, together with the angel throng, and learn with choirs of heavens to sing eternal anthems to my King. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for all the blessings you give us throughout our life. Blessings of house and home, family and loved ones. Blessings of congregation and friends. But mostly the blessing of your Son, Jesus, who is our Master, but is also the one who saves us. Lord, this Thanksgiving and every Thanksgiving, help us to receive your mercy gratefully and to give your mercy on without any uh, attachments. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.